What is going on everybody? Hope you're having a good day. Because I am. I genuinely am actually. Because there's quite a lot of new things that's happened uh, over the past couple of weeks. Week, mainly. Just the week. Um, obviously you'll realise I didn't post a video. That is because this one is going to be... It's going to change from now on. It's going to change. First of all, for Christmas, I got this computer. One of the main things is it's got double the processing power and a fat off terabyte of storage. So what that means is that every time I make a video, I don't have to delete it to save storage because on the last computer, the silver one, I was basically running on about a five gig storage berth. You know what I mean? So every time, so I'd have to record a video. So these videos take up like a gig themselves, just the video. Then the screen recording takes up another gig audio takes up about 300 megabytes and by the time you've put in all random effects and stuff it all gets a bit tight then it all slows down then it crashes then i get in a bad mood luckily because i've got 800 gigabytes spare on this computer i don't think we're going to be running into that problem anytime soon so that's the first piece of good news second piece of good news is um well it's probably not like good news because it's kind of a necessity I managed to um, basically get all the audio systems running again so that you can hear the audio from the computer because the software that I used called I show you audio capture for some reason didn't go onto big sir what this is so I had to download something else all a bit of a stress but not anymore because I've done that um, third thing is I mean this is just a small thing I've managed to get the uh, GoPro hooked up again to my phone which is here, so I can now see myself on the camera. It literally wouldn't do it for about six months, and then now it's just started doing it again. So very happy about that. The fourth piece of good news is I randomly found out that this had Final Cut Pro. So that's what I'll be editing in today. Uh, never actually used Final Cut Pro until, well, I haven't, well, I haven't edited it yet, obviously, because I'm recording it, so it could go actually quite bad. Um, but, I'll, yeah, we'll just figure it out. I'll tell you how Final Cut Pro goes. Well, you'll see it on Saturday because you'll see the video. Um, but, yeah, let's get into it. Because I'm on Final Cut Pro, I can now do things like this. So, as you all know, today is West Coast Saturday. I was going to do West Coast Wednesday, but I couldn't get the video out in time. Uh, so this is West Coast Saturday. Doesn't totally have the same ring to it. As I said, can't play chords. So you already know what we've got on here, the chord trigger. Yes, we do. What I did was I, I usually use minor seven nine. So I thought I'd switch it up. I thought I'd be extra, extra adventurous this time. And basically what I did was just pick some notes that sounded all right, so that just sounds basically like this over and over again. And then what I've got on here, it does have tremolo, but that's already built into the plugin, so I just thought I'd keep it on. So basically, that's what we've got going at the moment. Totally cool, totally fine. Classic West Coast snare in here. Just hi-hats over and over again, easy. And then what I got in here, open hi-hat and a cymbal, this kind of thing, like that, panned it all, triangle, so it goes, and then obviously as you can see on the mixer, I've panned it all there and stuff, and then how can we forget the kick? So that's all pretty easy. The next kind of things are just fillers. So I got this guitar off Looper Man. Put a huge delay on there, lasting, well, it just lasts basically. Uh, the next thing I got on was just this Celtic or Celtic flute strings. And it's quite cool because if you hold it down, it kind of goes into spaz mode. So I basically did, uh, I think those are 30 second or 16th notes, and then hold it down so you just get that first part. It 
just kind of holding the tension here. Um, obviously that is an E because I started the chords on E. Also it just sounded good. And you know, whatever sounds good just goes in. So then here we're just adding ear candy and stuff like this is the gospel singer sample I love. Totally, totally just, I put that in everywhere. I reckon you listen to the last 10 beats I've made, four of them will have that in, maybe even like five or six. So um, yeah, this is all just ear candy, adding stuff in. So I've got these bells. Like that, these are all from stock plugins. And then I've got a piano in a kind of still Dre style. Like that, quite cool. And then obviously all these crashes and stuff and I put in this fill for the drop. Now you may be thinking, this beat doesn't sound very good. And where's the bass? Well, you're right, because I haven't put the bass in. So here's the bass. And then I layered it with filter sole with basically just a massive cut on it. And then sample delay, which stereo spreads it. So if you delay the right channel, it sounds wider. And then obviously I could put in lower notes and octaves uh, when I did it on the computer. I've stretched that for quite a long time and it, it ends with different things. So the sequence ends like... If you play it like this, it just sounds a bit flat. I mean, it's cool. But then you add in the filter soul, which just, it's exactly the same thing. but it just adds so much top end and it's stereo spread and it just adds a lot of that kind of funk, just nurse. Especially on the high notes. got to have the Dr. Dre lead in here. Basically, it's just going up and down and then you put in those little squiggles and stuff. And then on every note that I didn't have a, one of those squiggles, I uh, put modulation on to make it vibrato. So that just goes over like a... Oh yeah, and then I put a pitch bend on the very end so that it comes down like that. And basically that just adds in a cool thing. Put some reverb on it. But it does get quite annoying. So I just put it on for that. And then that's basically the beat. You take it out a couple of times, um, uh, you know, taking the drums, putting fills, and then we get to the breakdown section. So for this, I got some uh, just Apple loops and basically loops them over and over again so that we've got this kind of thing going. Bass doing the same thing. That in. But the most important change here is I got this plugin called, it's, it's from the vocoder actually. And obviously if you don't run any uh, vocals through it, it's just a synth. So, So really chirpy, a bit like future bass, but G-Funk. So that all just sounds like this. Obviously you could probably imagine some singing going on or something, like gospel singing. But then I do this massive fill and then we come into the thing. And then I keep this going because otherwise it sounds a bit dead and I just want to keep it, you know, bringing it all through. And then obviously we can chill it out, but I put a massive transition. There we go. So that's the beat and it just finishes off with basically a massive bass slide.
If you enjoyed the beat, definitely leave a like and subscribe because we're trying to get to a thousand by the 2nd of February 2022, which is the channel's birthday. As I said, hope the editing went well in Final Cut Pro and hope the video doesn't look too uh, bad because obviously in half an hour when I edit this, um, you know, it's going to be my first time using it because I used to use iMovie. But uh, we live and we learn. Yeah, we totally do. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one.